Hello and welcome to this uh, new video tutorial of Progressive Web App for WooCommerce and in the previous video we showed you the uh, module configuration settings from the backend and we also showed you how the admin can configure the various settings or the banners, the featured products and the other sections there. So in today's video tutorial we'll be talking about the workflow and the front end within the mobile application. So. Uh, before we proceed, let me uh, give you some advantages of uh, using a progressive web app. So a progressive web app will always be fresh and updated. So there's no need to update it or to update it uh, via a placer or something like that. So uh, whenever uh, you get the uh, progressive web app, it's always fresh and updated. It's a lightweight application. It also works offline, but you need to have the HTTPS enabled for uh, allowing the offline caching of the data. And it also provides a native app, app, app experience, and that's much better than an actual native application. And apart from that, you can also customize the theme of the upper receiver app, and uh, you can also add a home screen shortcut within your mobile application so, uh, so that the customers can tap that app icon to access the progressive web app for your web store or your website so uh, let's get in and let's see how this uh, progressive web app works at the front end so for that uh, we'll go to the mobile screen now so this is the front end of the mobile application and right now i open my google chrome web browser and i've tried to reach the website uh, for a client for example for this demonstration purposes basically we have created this uh, page uh, at webpool.com so whenever a customer tries to reach your website this progressive web app would be uh, presented to the customer and uh, what the customer can do is he can tap the add pwa to home screen at the bottom of the screen to add a shortcut of this pwa to his home screen so let's get ahead and let's tap this button and this brings up this uh, pop-up window that says add to home screen now the admin has already configured all these icons in the configuration settings of the uh, progressive web app for WooCommerce from the uh, backend panel. So uh, that's why these icons are visible here as well. So we just need to tap the add button and this would add the progressive web app to the mobile application. Now after the uh, PWA has been added to the home screen as you can see you can tap and add the shortcut to the home screen as well. The customers can directly launch the uh, website directly from their mobile application only. So uh, let's get to the home screen. So here you can see uh, the progressive web app icon is visible to the customers. Now to reach the website, what the customer can do is he can, he can directly type the PWA. And here you can see, see the shimmer effect as well. So the PWA has opened up or we can say the website has uh, opened up and uh, on the left hand drawer you can see we have a number of categories there and this is for the uh, guest user because we have not yet signed in to the uh, web store and on the left hand side here you can see the preferences and uh, other external links as well that we talked about in the uh, configuration settings of this particular uh, progressive web app module so uh, here you can see the uh, main uh, banners are there then we have the popular products we have new products we have the trending ones we have featured products as well that the ad admin has set up from the admin backend and we have our cart as well right now we have no products in the cart so it's uh, showing empty on the left hand side uh, we can go to any of the categories by tapping the category and here you can see the uh, it's much it, it doesn't uh, look like a, a, a progressive web app, but like it's it feels like a native application in itself. And he can also sort the uh, products uh, by the position, their popularity, their average rating, or you can set up to with the products in a list or as in a grid. You can also tap the load more products to load any of the products that are there within that. Uh, category and similarly you can again go to the left drawer and you can also tap the uh, laptops and computers to check that particular category 
and similarly uh, what you can do is you can also tap the search icon to search for the products within the store so we can type iPhone and you can see that it displays all the products available there within the web store and you can tap any of the uh, searched products there and on the product page you can see the different details of the product you can also uh, see uh, like uh, the reviews that the customers have uh, said, uh, have added for this particular product and much more so uh, to sign in you just need to tap on the sign in uh, here on the left hand side and after that uh, you can if you if you are already a registered user then you can type in your name and password and login otherwise if you want to create a new account you can also tap the create account button and you just need to provide your email and password and then tap the register to log in so uh, So uh, I've logged into my uh, account now. So here what you can see is when I open the left drawer, here I have my name. And you can also see the account options visible. The basic options are there. We have a logout button. And we have the uh, account like the dashboard, the orders, the downloads. We have the account details and the address book. So let me take you through all of these options here that we have. So under the dashboard, the uh, customer see all of his recent orders that he has placed and can also check the uh, details whether it's uh, being processed or all the orders are done from here the uh, customer can also uh, check his uh, address his default billing address and his uh, shipping address and to edit it he can tap the edit address button and he can change all the details here and can tap the save address button at the bottom make the changes apart from that uh, the uh, customer can also with the uh, particular details of, a, uh, of an order for example uh, for this order number 360 the customer can tap the details uh, option and this brings up the details of this particular order when it was placed the uh, items in the order from here the customer can even write a review the price details are also visible with the shipping uh, any discounts uh, available, the payment method and the order total. So uh, apart from that, uh, to uh, give a review for a particular product, the uh, customer can also tap the review button as you can see here. Tapping that brings up the uh, product that's within that order. We need to select that up and after that we can give the rating and the review. So it depends uh, if you set the uh, approval for the uh, reviews then the approval uh, then the review needs to be first approved and after that it would be visible on the product itself so that was about the uh, account section uh, in what the uh, customer can do and for example for the completed orders the uh, customer can also reorder the product by tapping the reorder and that brings up that particular product within the cart and from here the customer can even apply the coupons and uh, can continue the shopping as well so uh this was uh, the uh section that was the dashboard section so uh now let's go to the orders section it's the same all of the orders are visible here and saying the details can be viewed uh, the reviews can be uh, put in for the product and um, the uh, orders that are complete for them the customer can also the order those orders so uh, now let's go to the uh, download section now here uh, any of the downloadable uh, products that the customer has purchased would be visible here like the online audio maybe videos or uh, anything else or songs so uh, here the customer can also see whether the particular downloadable product uh, is uh, available or has or that has expired or not and the uh, uh, and the number of downloads that are remaining for that particular uh, downloadable product as here you can see for the 339 order number we have infinity uh, number of in, infinite number of downloads remaining and for the 340 uh, order number we have only the six number of uh, downloads remaining 
so that was for the uh, download section now let me tap these four horizontal lines once again and uh, under the account details the customer can edit his first name last name email address and then also change his password by typing his old password and then the new and then confirming the password lastly you can tap the save button at the bottom to save the details and uh, lastly we have the address book and here the customer can change his billing address and his shipping address as required and uh, under the preferences uh, the customers can uh, enable the option to receive the notifications so if you don't want to receive the notifications you can uh, disable it, this option and can tap save settings button to save this particular setting and uh, the uh, customers can also check the other section on the uh, side panel here and the different uh, outbound links that the uh, admin has provided the customer can check them as well for example if you want to check the blog section that the uh, external reference has been provided by the admin i can tap the blog and this opens up another window wherein that link opens up and the customer can check the references there for their own good so that was about this section so about the other section i told you about the preferences the account uh, the uh, options that we have and the categories as well how the sorting would be done so let me go ahead and let me uh what I can see. Uh, so uh what i can do is i can uh, proceed further and i can what i will do is i'll just place an order for for these three products so here i can apply a coupon as well right now i don't have one so let me proceed so uh, the address has been selected the shipping rate is there shipping method has been selected now we need to select the payment or i can go for the check for uh, the cash and delivery and i'll tap the proceed button now we can review the order so here we can check the number of items in our order the subtotal shipping any tax or discounts that have been applied and the payment method and the order total and lastly i can uh, proceed to place the order so the order will be placed here you can see that the order has been placed or uh, i can check the order by tapping that uh, order number there and here you can see that the order has been placed on with the date and time and this status is processing and we have ordered four items and the price details and the address details for the shipping and billing address are also visible here. So uh, that was much about the uh, progressive web application for the uh, WooCommerce and hope this video helped you out and uh, if you have any questions or queries regarding this extension then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise a ticket at webpool.ubidesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead. Thank you.